Hi, and welcome to our session today on Household of Faith. My name is Pastor Chris Ong, and I hope you had a really good welcome session. Uh, but if this is your first home group session, then welcome to the series. We're looking at how to make our faith authentic and real into our everyday lives, uh, bringing church and Christianity into our very homes and our households. Uh, for today's session, maybe we start off with an exercise. Imagine your family going on a big trip together. Or if that's hard for you to imagine, take a look around at your home group and go, what if all of us took a big holiday together for, for, for weeks? What would that be like? Uh, I've had a few of these in my past and uh, if I could be honest with you, I think some of them have just been complete chaos. Because what happens is every time someone, we go for a holiday, especially with a big group, um, people come with different purposes. People want different things out of a holiday. Someone might want a holiday to be quiet and relaxing. Another person may want to go and see everything in the place. And then somebody else might want to go and just eat all the different kinds of foods that are there. I, I think trips like that get really tricky, especially when um, the goals and the purposes aren't known. It's hidden. You know, like you've got somebody in your group and they really want something, but you've got no idea what it is. I think growing up at church, uh, Christianity and church life even has been a bit like that for me. That we've been, I've been kind of surrounded uh, by lots of friends and family that have all sort of said, yes, let's go do church, let's go Christianity. But secretly, on the inside, there's another master in their life. There's another... Thing that they really want out of life more than just to serve the Lord they want uh, their career they want uh, their own happiness or the happiness of their children and and after a while all of these different priorities they just clash so for today we're going to be looking at this whole point of purpose in the scripture that we've got in Joshua 24 uh, you will see Joshua he's got a group of people much bigger than your home group and they're going for a trip that's much longer than any holiday. They're moving into a new land. They've, give, they've been given the promised land and on their sort of eve of settling into this place, Joshua gets all of them together and he says to them these words. He asks them, who will you serve? It could be the gods of the place that you came from or the gods that you have here. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That is today's primary verse, in Joshua 24, verse 15. See, the thing is, different aims and purposes actually mean that we will do different things. If you want a holiday where you are just relaxing, then you're going to fill your days up with lots of sitting by the beach and reading books and waking up late. But if your objective for your holiday is to see everything, you'll fill it up really tightly with schedule after schedule, program after program. And so I think for your own family, for your own life, as you consider, hey, what things am I going to do this year? What am I going to do with my faith, with my own family, with my wife, children, or even if you're single, what am I going to do at work? I think it really helps to take a moment to go, what is my primary objective? Uh, we want to put it to you that God has an objective for your life. He actually, as, as weird as it sounds, the best thing that He wants for you to do is to have Him as the master of your life. And that's because God is a great master. God is better than any of the other masters that you could put in place of your life. I've met people who've had children as their master. I've met people who've devoted their lives with their career as their master. And the real trick about masters is that it's going to be your master that pays you in the end. So if you bank everything on your children or your wife for your happiness or your husband for your happiness, well, ultimately, it's going to be your husband who is responsible for making you happy. If you bank it all on God, if you bank it on our Lord, then you'll find that He is faithful with His promises. Hebrews 10 verse 23 says this, and I'll just read it to you. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for He who promised is faithful. You will see throughout scripture, in our lives as well, that Jesus 
is faithful above all else. He kept His promise to Abraham, His promise to Moses. In fact, God kept His promises to Jesus, reign, making Him reign as a king 2,000 years and going. Um, I think you'll find through the testimonies and the, and the many bits of sharing that you'll have in home group that God is a faithful God. So that's today's session. You're going to go now into a time of discussion, but I'm hoping that you will find that as a church, Full Gospel Assembly, our aim is to serve the Lord in whatever way that is. But we're hoping that that's not just the aim of the church. We're hoping that that's the aim for your family and not just for your family, but for your own lives. Because from the bottom of our hearts, we really believe that the best master that you could have a better master than yourself even is God because He really knows best. God bless.